huyu Moremi Morage mnajua yeye mtoto ya Stanley Morage yule alikuwa strategic advisor ya Mwai Kibaki si mnamjua Stanley Morage give you mara ko eh give you mara ko si huyu Morage alipeleka Kibaki mzuri mimi nikaona vile huyu Morage alipeleka Kibaki mzuri wacha nitavute mtoto yake pia alipeleke vile alipeleka Mwai Kibaki sasa huyu ndio senior advisor katika ofisi yangu on coordination of development partners katika ofisi ya naibu wa rais na sasa wewe ukipata wazungu wamekuja pale ukiona kitu imeanguka unachukua unakipisa kirenyaga alafu tunasonga <laughs> tuko pia ah uh, hii murago, murago ni mudi hapa you excellency lakini iko chairman yetu ya huyu murango huyu hata kama ni muti ya wimbo ni mfanye kazi lakini upunguze nyimbo sasa sasa ni wakati ya kazi huyu murango ni chairman yetu ya agriculture na ndio mimi tutafanya kazi na yeye vile rais ametuagiza kungangana na hii watu hii makatel na rais wewe utuchunge hii watu ni mbaya hii makatel rais tafadhali wewe ni ndugu yangu huyu my brother usiniwache katikati sababu hii watu tayari wametoa pesa kulipa watu ya magazeti kutuchafua they are ruthless lakini this thing must be done one time and why we could not succeed in assisting the farmer ni kwa sababu wale walikuwa kwa serikali ndio wenye kunyanyasa wakulima why we are going to succeed is because president william ruto and i have no interest whatsoever in the coffee tea and milk subsectors the president's interest in tea ni ile majani chai yanakunywa peke yake kusema ongeza hii turungi ikue more 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 better sisi hatuna interest yeyote na kwa hivyo rais wetu vile umeniagiza tushikana na hawa tumeongea na wamchomba na gishimu tuunganishe tea and coffee as one caucus we are going to meet the governors au makatel rais ameniambia between mkulima wa chai na mwenye kukunywa chai iko mlolongo hapa watu karibu 20 ameniambia niondoe hiyo watu ni waondoe ama wakae eh tuwaondoe kati ya mkulima wa kahawa na mkunywaji wanatulipa 80 shillings wanauza pale 1000 hii mlolongo watu 17 wanakula hiyo pesa sasa rais ameniambia wewe ondoe hiyo watu tuondoe eh tuani tarwala ya demo komereria mateke eh rais na wewe utuchunge tafadhali wewe hii watu hii watu ni kali lakini tutangangana kama hatukutishwa na watu ya system na deep state na azimio hao watu wanatuweza so huyu mrango ni senator wetu na dio chairman uh, wa kamati yetu ya agriculture finally tuko na huyu dr jeremia hata ile kalamu imeteua ye rangi haijakauka rais amemteua kuwa chairman wa national standards council ashikilie pale na sasa wewe ufanye kasi unatoka pale mwea na watu ya mwea mambo bado mambo ingine iko asante sana <laughs> lakini sasa governor wewe sasa natuko na wewe na hapa naona governor saa hii wanachanganyikiwa wewe unasema rais ajenge retreat center peke yake apate baraka peke yake sisi tutatoa baraka wapi <laughs> na unajua rais anatupenda lakini baraka hawezi gawia sisi kama ni pesa angetugawia so governor rais akikubali uite sisi wote hata sisi tunatafuta baraka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu ndio tusaidiane pamo kwa hivyo watu ya Kirenyaga adwa Kirenyaga jamanilo eno eno eta waruto ndio mwadhu ulile kuhede laka akuli igiri liyo ma eno ni mwakena liyo ukile ni mwakena didi ya mwete yo horo ni damu ulete kadi ya mwete give mwete oshe kutiri kudu wala adhi mwete ni waruko na raisi wetu tunakushukuru hapa katika Mount Kenya we made a conscious decision to support you not because you had an arrangement with Uru Kenyatta no not because you are college no but because you have a pragmatic clear strategy 
to revive our economy and put money in our pocket. That is why. And so far, Your Excellency, you have started well. Na diyo nataka kuambia uyo mzea mandamano. Tafadhali, please. Enda tafuta wenye walikuwa na kuunga mkono. Wachana na huyu rais wetu. The president is busy, he has work to do. We meenda umetafuta mzungu, pale, na hitua Jeffrey Smith, ni mfanyi kazi yako. He has a contract with you. He is a consultant. Unatuambia ati yako atina, ati huiso bloi. Didi ya mesema filimbi ilikuwa kule kwa hodka. Hii filimbi ni anini unafanya nayo saa hii. What you are doing, tunakuwanea itini wewe mze. Wewe. Tunakuwanea itini. What you are doing is what you have done all the years. 1997, ukashidwa na moi. Ukaleta kizrani, ukamutisha nini nini, ukaitwa. You came to government through cooperation. Ukakuja, ukaharibu serikali ya moi. Yaliharibu wako haribu. Katoka hapo, 2007, tukakulima na moi kebake. Ukaenda nyumbani. Ukaleta shida, ukaitwa. Ukakuja through nusu mkate ukatatisa serikali. Ukakuja hapo tukakushinda. 2013. Ukataribu kuleta shida. Uhuru akitaka kuita wewe, huyu alikuwa deputy yake akamwambia hapana wachana na hii mtu, atatuharibia serikali. 2017 tumekushinda. Umeleta kisirani, umeuzia uhuru uoga. Si alimuuzia? Sasa uhuru akanunua uoga akamuita kwa serikali kwa hardship aliharibu serikali yetu wangu haribu tukakwama unga ikatoka 90 shillings mpaka 230 then ikatoka 2 trillion mpaka 10 trillion vijana milioni sita hawana kazi watu CRB 14 million barabara zote sikasimama everything wewe Raila ukiwa na uhuru mkaharibu everything mkatuachia nchi hakuna chochote Nikasema pale kasarani mkasema mimi ni mjeuri. Ati nisiongee mbele ya wazungu. Kwani wazungu si walikuwa hapa tukawafukuza? Kwani mnawaogopa? Si lazima tuseme ukweli. Sasa hii maneno unalete tunakujua. Unataka atukulete na muna hii atiutuzie uoga atitukuite. Ati vile tulienda hapa Nyanza juzi ati unafikiria tunaweza kuita wewe. Wewe hapana uzia huyu rais wetu uoga. Ino ni chuma aguru. Hadi huo. Na wao ndio haya wanawaja kiemwe. Eh? Rais wetu na kuomba kwa niaba ya wale tunakusaidia. Hii mambo ya hii mzee tuachie. Dawa ya hii mtu ni mtoto ya maumau. Wewe kaa kando. Kaa kando. Wewe rais please endelea na mambo ya uchumi, utusaidie. Mambo ya hustle as fund utusaidie. Utafute pesa ya kulipa barabara, uniunge mkono na hawa utusaidie mambo ya chai, kahawa, mchele tusaidie. Mambo ya hii mzee weka kando. Weka kando. Ni huo? Eh? Hii mambo ya mzee tukiwa na hii akina dede wa igoro wachia sisi. Lakini hatuwezi muacha wewe rais peke yake ndio utakaa kando. Huyu mzee tunamjua na mwenye kutuma na kuwapatia pesa anajulikana. Hata hii mbuge alikuwa ya daragoa. Mwenye kutuma yeye tunamjua. Na wewe unatuma hii mjumbe ya daragoa. Siuongee wewe tukujibu. Mbona natuma huyu mtu? Siuongee. Unamtuma ya nini na hiyo lugha ni yako? Hiyo lugha ya kuunganisha watu. It is you, we know you. We see you. We understand you. Don't say that fellow from Daragua. Talk yourself. And we are here to manyana na wewe. Huyu William Ruto, huyu president wetu, one of my duties as deputy president is to protect his leadership na hakuna mtu ambaye atagusa yeye na rais tafadhali wachana na mambo yeye mzee tuko hapa kuanzia kesho tutapangapanga na hao vile tutakaa na hiyo watu na hiyo maneno ya kupopana na hao tunajua hiyo so utatupatia nafasi wiki moja mbili tuweke hao kwa laini wakiingia laini turudi kwa mambo ya kahawa na majani chai na maziwa hebu mungu kwenda sasa bishop wa deli asante sana your excellency tulisoma na huyu bishop na amesema vile mimi nilikuwa na shida. It is true. Nilikuwa nakuja 5 kilometers na kurudi 5, 10. Lakini naona tu ameona ataharibu heshima yangu kusema ukweli. Angesema pia my feet were jiga invested. 
nilikuwa nimekuliwa na gage nilikuwa naenda na mwana hii hii miguu yangu ilikuwa imeharibika nimekuja na hiyo nimepanga paka mpaka nimerudisha line wale tu leda eh tu wale tu da na mwana si ameba igana e igana eh ya kwa mbona ni aragio liko eh e ya mwiri he tu ya ingi Bishop sisi tunatoa shukurani. Pahali Mungu ametoa huyu president wetu na mimi na hawa wote. Tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Ado itone dake na tanaeta president de mwere gai tu amuradhime. Amweke wega. Murore magoku mia. Amwaramirie mihaka. Amugitire kuma kwedwari. Mishi anyu yuraga irathi kwa hiana buraje ga.